right, Sicilian defense. We're playing our Kings Indian attack. Nothing more. Okay, I think this is looking good. Okay, perfect. Yeah, why not? Why not? Hey, hey, hey. Right, let me make sure this is correct. Guys, disregard this. I'm about to, I gotta remove this. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with it. All right, we take uh, IB3, hitting that pawn. All right, let's play D4. Now, I'm not concerned about this pawn at all because I can always um, after I take, I could do knight takes e4 and I'm hitting them. So now I defend. Now, time-wise, we gotta play faster. Cha, cha, cha. They're trying to remove my fianchetto bishop. I'm trying to do the same thing. Now, oh, what about this? Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Gotta be careful with queen h3. Controlling the only open file right now. Fine. And they were trying to play rook e8. They don't have that anymore. Let's try to improve the knight. The only thing preventing us from getting to the seventh rank is this knight. Let's see if we can get it removed. Okay. We enter to the sixth rank then. Active pieces, guys, that's all we want. Active pieces. Now, I need to find a way to incorporate the knight. Mm, I wanted to go here and here. just need a plan it doesn't have to be a good plan just a plan so far improve that night I like before better okay my opponent's time is getting you know, we're getting we're not so behind in time that's important playing billets we gotta make sure that we're not so long time otherwise we're just gonna lose the game especially me that I'm not that good at blitz Hmm, anything? Do I have to trade? I don't have to trade. Luckily, they don't have any way to attack my rook with the knight because my knight is pretty much trapped. In between move, cha cha cha. Yeah, why not?
right, guys, we got that one. I think that was a decent game. Now, to get the most out of it, we gotta review it now. Uh, uh, I'm surprised. Typically, I'm the one getting into time pressure. Typically, I'm the one. Um, the only thing that helped is that I'm playing this King's Indian attack. That is the same thing, guys. We just know where the pieces go. We should be fine. Now, 89%, 80, it's not that bad. Let's see where our mistakes were. See, so it's just, this works. My opponent started to play like a French. I play King's Indian attack. Then it turned over, or it transposed into a Sicilian. It's the same thing as E4, C5 first. We're playing the King's Indian attack. It doesn't matter to us, right? Now, all of this is theory. Here, if you remember the lesson we had, lesson 79, um, we talked about Bobby Fischer's style or the way he played the King's Indian attack. Many times he wanted to play five, gain more space. I'm, I'm not, I, most of the time, I don't, especially as I move up the ladder, as I moved up the ladder, I stopped playing it because my opponents know how to defend and I would rather play more strategically. So knight b3, hitting the pawn, d4, trying to leave this pawn as a target. Okay, all of these, again, it's not like I just thought of it, it's thematic. I've seen so many games, I've played it so many times, that I know the typical plans. Bishop f4, just developing, ah, mistake, what happened here? Bishop g2, wait, wait, wait. let me go back. Apparently I should have taken and then bishop e5. Well, I'm not so happy about this queen so close to my king. So typically when you play with the fianchetto, you wait for them to take and then the king replaces the bishop controlling h3. So I understand, but I don't know. Even now, even now that I know it's a move, I don't know. I don't feel comfortable with that. Okay, still. Yeah, just take and then bishop d6. What if they go back to the seven? Well, it's mental note, guys. Mental note next time to consider that. Don't be so afraid of it. At the end of the day, it's the queen only. They cannot really bring the knight over so quickly. It's not on f6. Look at this. I consider bishop g7. What happens if this... We just keep taking it. They don't have... 93. Multi-purpose multi knight. What? It's not even that? Okay, what happens if I go 93? That's bad. Okay, I just simplify everything and then I take only 7. I'm so bad. We're so bad. This computer makes us feel really bad. Yeah, so that's the idea. Um, again, going back, take on g7. We're not afraid of this because we could just remove the queen and then this is hanging. You had to realize all of that. I kept it simple. I just took, then rook e2. I thought of rook e3 first, but I was like, nah, I wanna keep that available for my knight. But it turns out to be the more accurate move. Queen e3, and then just reroute the knight. Queen e6, look, every time we play, we move a pawn in chess, we simply create weaknesses. So e6 became available. We utilize it. Ah, uh, don't. Yeah, there's no need to define anything here. Keep the pressure. Everything that we did, but keep the pressure. Wait for them to take. In porn, rook e6, h4, and then reroute the knight. Reroute the knight to b4. I had talked, I had mentioned knight before. Why did I change my mind? Well, a4, important, breaking down that pawn structure. In between move. And then everything just collapsed. All right, we're not that bad. We're not that bad. All right, guys, let me then go to the next one. 